You know momentum? You can sort of feel it in a football game, for example. Even before the game is over, sometimes you can feel that momentum shift and you go, I know which way this game is going if the work still gets done during the game. A similar thing's happening right now where the momentum in this election has just totally shifted with the introduction of Kamala Harris now as the presumptive nominee and with Biden making a courageous, high-integrity decision and endorsing her, dropping himself off of the ticket. And if you thought the momentum wasn't there previously, I have a few different bits of news that will definitely freak out the Trump campaign and reportedly they are freaked out and also motivate you quite some uh quite a lot and one of the things i want to show you in this segment we have so much to go through so stick around for all of it and i also have a very big announcement something we're going to be doing to make sure kamala harris wins this election uh i do want to show you some clips from a rally she just held that was pretty dang hype so first thing i do want to talk about is cbs news reports kamala harris's campaign says it raised more than a hundred million dollars after launch then that became out of date because now we have media reporting on democratic mega donors pledge eye popping 150 million dollars in 24 hours to support kamala harris one of the things kamala harris will say in the speech that i'll show you clips from in just a second is that this is the most a presidential campaign has ever raised in this period of time. In 24 hours, 150, not thousand, million dollars. That's the sign of many of these donations are actually small dollar donations sign of enthusiasm. And if you're on the interweb, on the World Wide Web, you're seeing that momentum change and it's all very exciting and that is causing this devastating news for trump his campaign to be freaked out and i think by being energetic by going on offense against trump by prosecuting a case against trump something joe biden had become incapable of doing uh she can really turn this race around and i think that there you can just see the new energy uh in it and that has got donald trump's campaign completely freaked out because they built this thing to run against Joe Biden, and now they're not. Yeah. Yeah. And in the MAGA media world, you're hearing that. Seeing this stunning, groundbreaking fundraising is also sending chills down the spine of Donald. His truth social activity, we might check in on in a different segment, is proof of that. Very unhappy. And speeches like this one should freak out MAGA because one of the things people don't understand, maybe, I'm sure you do, but a lot of people in their analyzing of polling and of the candidacy as it's beginning of Kamala Harris is that the Biden standing in the polls was after him both being president, being the candidate, and having hundreds of millions of dollars being raised and spent on his behalf to get his message out and surrogates across the country advocating on behalf of why he should be elected again. And still it was a tough place, right? And Trump, same thing. His po the standing that he's at in the polls is a reflection of all the work being done on his behalf. But Kamala hasn't had that yet. Kamala's had essentially bad Fox News narratives about her and not much else. The American people haven't been familiarized with her other than mainly negative narratives that will go viral in right-wing spaces. And so now everything's shifted. The money's being spent on her behalf. Surrogates are advocating on her behalf and she's delivering speeches like this. So as the American people get to know her, she has a lot more room to grow than Trump does in his polls. And that's bad news for his campaign. Here's the first moment. had some breaking news. We just had the best 24 hours. Of grassroots fundraising in presidential campaign history. All right. Wow. Quick pause from your viewing of this video to request 
that you subscribe if you're not already to this channel. We've heard some people saying that they'll subscribe and then check back later and they're unsubscribed. That's not good. So if you could make sure that you are subscribed, even if you think that you are, I would greatly appreciate it. Back to the video. You also have uh, this. So as Leah told you, before I was elected vice president, before I was elected United States senator, I was elected attorney general of the state of California and I was a courtroom prosecutor before then. And in those roles, I took on perpetrators of all kinds. Predators who abused women, fraudsters who ripped off consumers, cheaters who broke the rules for their own gain. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. And that's a line we heard her use yesterday. Very, very compelling. Then she talks about here, yes, this campaign is about Trump. He is a threat to so many fundamental American principles. He is someone who needs to be opposed. For us to take steps forward, we do have to stop him from victory in November. And also, if we can do that, this is also about what we're going to do. Not just what we're against, but what we're for. And she said that this way. And this campaign is also about two different visions for our nation. One where we are focused on the future. The other focused on the past. We believe in a future where every person has the opportunity not just to get by, but to get ahead. A future where no child has to grow up in poverty. Every worker has the freedom to join a union. Where every person has affordable health care, affordable child care, and paid family leave. We believe in a future where every senior can retire with dignity. So all of this is to say, building up the middle class will be a defining goal of my presidency. And that is what MAGA fails to do. It fails to lay out a policy vision that I think is compelling to the American people. There's a lot of fear mongering. There's a lot of pointing at problems and casting blame about those problems, but not much comprehensive discussion about solutions. And what the Democratic platform with its issues is able to do is put forward a policy vision for what's ahead. We've seen with the record of the Biden-Harris administration what those policies look like implemented. We've seen historic legislative successes under the Biden-Harris administration, and that type of governance is what we need to see going forward. And so not only do you have the proof that's in the pudding, you also have a much more compelling vision for what's ahead. And I hope that contrast is something the American people make the right choice in reference to. You have this as well. He intends to give tax breaks to billionaires and big corporations and make working families foot the bill. They intend to end the Affordable Care Act and take us back then to a time when insurance companies had the power to deny people with pre-existing conditions. Remember what that was like? Children with asthma? Women who survived breast cancer? Grandparents with diabetes? America has tried these failed economic policies before. 
but we are not going back. We are not going back. Yeah. This between now and November is not going to go well for Trump. I can just say that. Uh, because what did we see at the Trump RNC speech? The very beginning, he tried uh, disingenuously to espouse rhetoric of unity, saying we, we should unite. Then he spent the whole meat of the speech espousing all of his normal things, divisive as ever, dishonest as ever, and boring as ever. And almost every rational observer came out of that, even if they sort of liked Trump, and said, okay, that wasn't a great speech, that wasn't very inspiring. That's going to be coming up against what is Undeniably, even if you aren't the biggest fan of the Democratic Party or the biggest fan of Kamala Harris, you're hearing a much more compelling, inspiring, motivating message here from Kamala Harris. And this is just her first major rally. It's going to be one after another for this to become refined. And that up against the nonsense we hear at Trump rallies is a really good story for the American people to observe before Election Day. But Donald Trump wants to take our country backward. He and his extreme Project 2025 agenda will weaken the middle class. Like, we know we got to take this seriously. Can you believe they put that thing in writing? And then before my big announcement, let me just uh, play this final exciting clip. And we have an election to win. Today I ask you, are you ready to get to work? Do we believe in freedom? Do we believe in opportunity? Do we believe in the promise of America? And are we ready to fight for it? And when we fight, we win. God bless you. Woo! Yes. Okay, so in honor of that, here's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. The fundraising has been off the charts, but we need to continue that. And I don't want to just be a guy talking out of my mouth without participating in and doing everything I can with this platform to contribute to a victory in November. And so this was already something we were planning, but now... We'll apply it to this. If you want to donate to Kamala Harris's campaign, consider doing it through the link that we have in our description. It's through Active Blue, but we can see how many people have donated to our specific uh, cause, which is Kamala Harris's campaign. And we're going to do something. Right now, let me see real quickly where we're at at this exact moment as of when I'm recording in terms of subscribers 637,000 subscribers so between now and the election it's very doable to get to a million subscribers so what we're gonna do is a million dollars raised within our community the Luke Beasley show group by a million subscribers so by the time we hit that million mark in subscribers I want to have raised a million dollars among the audience I made my first contribution. I'll make a few, but I made my first contribution today. I invite you all to join. Once we get a few donations, we'll put up something in the studio where you can sort of see how much we've raised. And uh, over the next few months, like I said, a million dollars by a million subscribers. We're going to do it. It's going to be exciting. And we're going to be a part of a victory. So again, in the description of the podcast, if you're listening there, or if you're watching this video, and we'll start putting it in the description of all of our videos, you can go to the Kamala Harris donation link and make that contribution. Based on the viewership we get, if just each member of the audience who watches regularly donated once, a dollar even, 
we would get there instantly. Obviously, we want to give more than a dollar because not everyone's going to give that dollar. I would greatly appreciate it. And it's doable. It's exciting. And I'll keep you updated as we go along.